Jeremy Bamber, an innocent man, has served almost thirty years in prison for crimes he did not commit. He has been unable to grieve properly behind bars, and nor has he been able to clear his name. The pain he feels is as strong now as it was back in 1985, and over time this has not diminished. Yet to this day he is as innocent as he ever was, and nothing changes that. And other things remain as true. People continue to live freely around the world, knowing they aided Jeremy's wrongful conviction. People in positions of authority and power remain unaccountable for their actions and, ultimately, many more also know the truth. But just as it will never be too late for Jeremy to win his fight for freedom, it is also not too late for those who do know the truth to do the right thing. We are asking for people to come forward to help Jeremy with any information they may have about their role in the 1985 tragedies of White House Farm in Tolson, Darcy, Essex. Perhaps you worked as a civilian telephone operator or radio operator for the police or British Telecom. Did you take part in the raid on the house? Were you a police forensics officer who entered the house but never gave a statement? We now have the identity of all of the officers who attended the scene, so we could confirm your role. Maybe you worked for the pathologist or coroner, or were a radiologist. Perhaps you were involved with firearms licenses or weaponry, and provided information to the police. Perhaps you knew a prosecution witness well, and that they were not telling the truth to the police. Were you a forensic scientist who knows the chain of events were tampered with after you made a report on your findings? Maybe you were a friend of Sheila Caffell and witnessed a violent outburst, or she discussed her suicidal thoughts with you. Were you a doctor, a nurse, or a psychologist treating Sheila Caffell and have information on her state of mind at that time? Were you a foster parent, social worker, or teacher? for Nicholas and Daniel Caffell. We ask now that those people come forward with information. You wouldn't be the first. Several of you already have, and you may be able to gain anonymity or immunity if you get in touch. The most important thing is to make sure you do. Contact Jeremy's legal or administration teams using the details on the contact page of the official campaign website. We cannot stress enough that it is never too late to do what's right. After nearly 30 years, that time has come. Make contact to find justice for Jeremy and peace for yourself, because it's never too late to make a difference. It really is as simple as one, two, three to help Jeremy Bamber. Make the right decision today.